the idea of student loans seems simple. Borrow money to go to school now and pay it back once you have a job later. But the unstable job market has caused many students to struggle to pay back these high interest loans. The average student loan debt has increased 25% in the last 10 years. U.S. student loan debt has well surpassed credit card and auto loan debt. It is currently above $1 trillion. I personally had to take out a student loan this year, but I came to college not expecting to. One of the main reasons student loan debt has reached this astronomical number is because of the escalating costs of colleges and universities. The highest quality schools, you're likely, more likely to get a good job and be able to pay your debt back. But the low quality schools are still expensive, but you can't always get a good enough job to pay your debt back. For many students, the issue has been not being able to find a job right out of college, so they return to school. I guess I've been fortunate to, uh, to still be in school, in my, uh, graduate school, so I don't have to repay it. But uh, that's with graduation looming, I got those repayments are looming. So. It's kind of a, I guess, a necessary evil. Though Professor Irvine is against student loans, he says if it's unavoidable, then you should go to a more affordable school like UGA. The average UGA student, while their debt levels have increased in the student loan debt program, if they're careful, they've got it relatively good.